Life Show. I'm Carrie Bodenheimer, your Recreation Superintendent. And Hula Hoop was the other month, so I'm not quite sure what we're doing with this, but I'm sure I'm gonna have staff that's gonna tell you all about it and maybe stuck. Woo! Okay, so on this month's show, July is Parks and Recreation Month. And with 960 acres of parks, 26 different parks facilities we operate, we've got benefits for everybody. We're gonna cover the individual, the social, the economic, and the environmental. We'll check in with Jennifer Hodges, who oversees our swimming pools and Smothers Park. She's got plenty going on, obviously, this time of the year. Charles Whelan over at the golf courses will keep you posted and up to the T on your best information there. Chris Carey at the softball complex has some great new programs coming in this fall. Michael Gray over at Dugan Best Recreation Center, his staff are having a full summer with their children at the Dugan Best Recreation Center. And our recreation supervisor, Brittany Horsback, is gonna clue you in on some free giveaways and promotions we have going on. So stick around, we've got lots to cover this month and I'm gonna throw this over to Charles Whelan at the golf course. Charles, you're up. Whoa, man, Carrie, nice throw there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this at the golf course, but I, I can figure out something. You know, We could go with the old uh, laugh in. We're in back in the 70s when they used to have that show, they'd pop out the, the holes there. But uh, I'm really dating myself on that one. My name's Charles Whalen, and I am your golf course manager for the city of Owensboro, and this is uh, this month's Enjoy Life. So we got a lot of stuff going on uh, out at the two golf courses, both Hillcrest and Ben Hawes. And uh, one of the things you'll notice today is we're in this nice practice area. And it's sort of a hidden gem back here at Ben Hawes. A lot of people don't know about it, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to shoot out here today. Uh, you'll notice the great thing about it is We've got uh, a nice practice green with uh, two different pins. There's a bunker over to the right. It's all sort of enclosed by tall grass. And that's why it's a well hidden secret. Uh, and that just sort of gives you a buffer from the rest of the golf course and the people playing. Uh, but you can hit shots out here for free. Uh, just bring your own golf balls and it reaches up to almost 60 yards. So you can really work on a lot of short game shots. And for those of us that don't know it, short game really uh, contributes to almost 60% of your score. So, and when I say short game, I'm talking shots 100 yards and in. So you think about how many times you're gonna hit a shot during the course of a round that's 100 yards and in, and that's gonna be a lot more than what you hit your driver through the course of a round. So you play 18 holes, I may hit my driver uh, 14 times. You know, some of us that are shorter may have to use it on a few par threes. Maximum, you should be hitting your driver, is 18 times a round. And then all of a sudden you add that up, okay, I scored 100 today, that's only 18 shots. Hey, why did I spend two hours on the driving range hitting drivers the other day? Come over here and work on 100 yards and in, and then all of a sudden you'll see a great improvement in your golf game because your short game's so much better. And like I said, it's accounting for almost 60% of your score. That includes your putting, your chipping, and like I said, those 100 yards and in. So enough about how you should practice. Let's get to uh, some of the things going on at the golf courses. We got a ton of stuff going on and we're starting to get into the fall and that's when the best part of this golf season is. I mean, it's dry, it's sunny, temperature is finally starting to go down a little bit, not so humid anymore, and it's just an awesome time to play some golf. So you can go out on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at Hillcrest. You can play in the uh, regular scramble and the senior scramble with the men out there. Uh, on Wednesdays, the ladies play. I'd uh, love to have you out there for that one. The ladies have a great time. They just have a real casual nine hole little scramble. Uh, great group of gals out there. And then uh, over here on Tuesdays, the ladies get together and they play 18 holes. So it gives you a little bit of, okay, do I wanna play nine with, with the ladies at, at Hillcrest? Do I wanna come out here and play 18? A little bit more for your different skill levels. So uh, they both a great group have a lot of fun. Uh, on Wednesdays here at Ben Hawes, we have the uh, senior scramble. So anybody ages 50 and over can come out and play in that. And there again, great group of guys, have a great time. They start at eight o'clock. Uh, and they're always having a good putt off and a lot of things going on for that. So good time to come out and play some golf and, and get in some different groups, uh, especially if you're a senior age uh, and take advantage of those opportunities. We also have uh, just a few spots open for some outings left. 
uh, still have some some dates in October. And you know, October, you may think, hey, I'm, I'm outside golf season, but you're not. You're really into a good part of the season. Like I said, it's not too hot. Uh, it's not too cold yet either. And so we can accommodate you for your outing. Maybe you're trying to do a little fundraiser or doing something for the schools. So uh, come out and give me a call on that one, 270-687-7134, and then see if you can't, uh, can't get some uh, outing scheduled for that. Lastly, uh, it's still not too late to get uh, kids into the uh, uh, Owensboro Junior Golf Foundation. Uh, we have our fall session getting ready to crank up, so give me a call again, 270-687-7134 and uh, we can get you registered for that seven week program. Kids get to the part three, all kinds of good stuff going on. And then, uh, you know, one thing I was gonna talk about was, uh, you know, after three o'clock, the uh, rates start to go down and it's such a good time that I thought I just might sort of kick back on this nice inner tube and relax a little bit because you can come out after three o'clock and you can tell I'm not real comfortable with this because I don't do this very often, but after three o'clock, rates $13 for nine holes uh, $17 for 18 holes and uh, you can come out and play some golf really inexpensive uh, if you go out to Hillcrest it's 10 bucks for nine holes with a cart you can't beat it cheapest rates in town to play some golf and enjoy this lovely weather um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make it up uh, to finish this scene but I think I have to toss this over to Chris and bear with me for a second and Chris, this is coming to you. I'm sure you can use this as a life raft on some of your uh, fields when it rains. Hey, thanks Charles. Just what I need for the lake this weekend. Or, can I jump in out here? Nah, I don't think so. I think I'll just fish from the bank. Hi, I'm Chris Carey and I'm here at Jack C. Fisher Park right next to the Owensboro Softball Complex. And Charles tossed me this. I know where this comes from. Jennifer bought these for the pools this year, and she rents these out. Uh, I use them on weekends at the lake uh, when I want to lounge out at Big Bay at Rough River. So these are super great uh, for the pools. I know she rents them, then turn it back in, get some money back. So this is uh, quite handy. And I like this. Good addition for Jennifer. Uh, I won't actually jump in the pond, though. I, I don't have my swimming suit on. I'm here at uh, the softball complex, like I said, and I wanted to touch base with you a little bit about some of the new program we have this fall. Uh, this month, we've got three registration deadlines coming up. They're all three deadlines, July 21st. So uh, you need to reach out, call us, uh, go online and visit, uh, see what we have for our programming. But what we've got going on are two new programs. One is uh, fast pitch youth softball, and the other is fall t-ball. Both of those have been requested, so now we are offering them up. We've done fall baseball, which is also the third sign-up that we've got going on deadline July 21st. The fall t-ball and softball are new. T-ball is going to be the same ages we do in the spring and summer. Uh, they're going to be ages three to six. Typically, we do an age three and four age division and a five and six. Depending on the sign-ups, we may combine and do one league of three to six-year-olds. It's going to be a non-competitive league, just like our spring and summer. Really good intro for them. A good, uh, get a little bit of extra t-ball in, getting them ready for the next year. So yeah, if you're interested in that, give us a call. Uh, I think the pricing is really cheap, right around $50. The youth fast pitch, girls fast pitch is brand new. Uh, typically, you've got a lot of little league parks now that are offering mm. uh, fall baseball to become really popular, but it was hard to find fall youth uh, fast pitch softball. So we're offering that ages 8U, 10U, and 12U are going to be our three divisions that we're going to offer. So we're throwing that out there. We'll see how much of that sticks and what all we can put together. Uh, but we're really excited about that. Both of those leagues and fall baseball will start mid-August and run for two months. So the, the t-ball will run on Mondays and Tuesdays. The softball is going to run Monday through Thursday just depending on the schedule and how many we have signed up. The third thing is our regular fall baseball, really popular, rookie league, minor league, and major league. That is for kids that are gonna be of age the following year. So if I'm coming out of T-ball and next year I'm gonna be playing rookie league, you're gonna play in our rookie league. If I'm rookie league this year and I'm gonna be nine next year and playing in the minor league, I'm gonna play in our minor league. And same thing goes for the major league. If I'm gonna be moving up to major leagues next year, you're gonna play in our major league division. So, 
All three of those are super exciting. We're gonna play those during the week. There won't be any weekends, but if you have any questions, give me a call, 270-687-7134. That's my office line. To sign up, you can call the parks office, 270-687-8700. Visit us at our website at owensboroparks.org. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're on all the social media. Brittany does a super job keeping up with that. So definitely Facebook, she puts mm. something on there every day and there's a lot of neat stuff and I know she's got some good giveaways coming up. So, like I said, if you have any questions, give me a call. We're super excited about our fall activities and fall programming. I'm really excited about this, but I'm gonna pass this over to Brittany and see what she's got going on over at her place. Thanks, Chris. I hope you all got all those new dates for the new programs taking place at Fisher Park. My name's Brittany and I'm with Owensboro Parks and Recreation and if you wanna test your luck, give Owensboro Parks Office a call at 270-687-8700. Say the color blue, red, green, or yellow. Each color has a meaning. One will be a dud. The others you can win either a pool pass, an Edge Ice Center admission pass, or a green fee pass at the golf course. Come on guys, test your luck. Call us at 270-687-8700. Enjoy this nice summer weather and get out at one of our parks and facilities. Thanks, and here's Michael. Thanks, Brittany. Man, it sure is hot down here at Dugan Best Recreation Center. If you have anything that you're not doing, hey, come on down here and join us. I just want to give you updates about our holiday world trip coming July the 5th. So if you need any information, please come down here to Dugan Best and get the information. The next thing is July the 8th, we still have wrestling down here at Dugan Best. So come join the fun. It starts at 7 p.m. So come on in, bring your kids and your family and enjoy the fun during that rat during the wrestling match. Now our hours here at Dugan Best are still the same. The hours are from uh, 10 uh, a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So as soon as you have time or anything like that, just come down to Dugan Best, relax, enjoy the fun. Now I'm gonna throw this back to uh, Jennifer and y'all go to the swimming pool, okay? See you later, bye. Thanks, Michael. I'm Jennifer Hodges and I'm here at Combis Pool and we're gonna talk about ways we can get our float on. You can actually step your float on. And you can jump your float on. Or you can throw your float on. But the best way to get your float on is right here at Combest Pool. The price is great. You can share it with a buddy. It's only $8. You'll get to use this float all day during public swim. And when you return it at the end of the day, you get $2 back. So come and have some fun. We still have swimming left this summer. Uh, our public hours are Monday through Friday, noon to 4.30. We're open Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And Sundays is 1 to 5 p.m. At Craven's Pool, we do have night swim on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings from 7 to 9 p.m. And admission is $3.50. So come out, take advantage of this float, and have a great time here at Combest Pool. I want to remind everyone to mark your calendar. We have our upcoming annual Gone to the Dogs right here at Combest Pool on Sunday, August 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's $7 a mission for the dogs. The owners and family members get in free. Come out, it's a great time. You can socialize with other dog owners. And we'll have various uh, booths here from various pet businesses and veterinarian offices to educate you on some things that you can do with your dog. Also, we have a lot of tricks and contests that the dogs can take part in. And we have great prizes and great door prizes throughout the evening. So come out and enjoy that with your dog and family. And now let's go see what Carrie has going on at her side. Um, 
July is Parks and Rec month and like we've said throughout the show, it's all about fun and benefits and these kids have a great time all summer. We're building social, uh, we're working on team skills, we're working on individual skills. They're getting ready to go out and practice their broom ball now. We've got another group that are working on their figure skating skills. So we really have a great time. If you've not experienced Edge Summer Day Camp, it's a really unique program in the fact that we do focus on our ice sports in the morning, such as hockey, learn to skate, and figure skating. And then in the afternoon, we break out into our age groups, five through seven, eight through nine, and 10 through 12, and break out into our different activities. So Edge Ice Center is the coolest place in town, but we're also located across from the great park, Moreland Park, and we utilize that a lot during our summer day camp program. So why don't you join me and we'll catch up with our other groups are doing at the park. So now we're across the street from the Edge Ice Center at Moreland Park. It's a great location over here with playgrounds, baseball fields, walking trails, and we utilize this location a lot. Currently behind me, I've got a group over by the playground. Um, I think they're playing a capture the flag with frisbees. Our staff do a really great job of planning out activities throughout the day for each week. Each week is themed. Uh, this week is, uh, next week, science week. Um, but lots of activities going on that are tied into their theme. So like I said, over that way, we've got some capture the flag going on. And then across the park this way, if you want to follow me, over on the baseball field, we've got a great activity of kickball going on. And I'm not sure who's having more fun, the counselors or the campers. I just love hearing all the kids laughing and having a great time. So if you've not checked out the City of Owensboro's Edge Eye Center, I encourage you to do so. We have information on our website. We host the camp every summer. We start as soon as the children get out of school. Uh, so registrations start coming around March. So if you're interested next year, be sure to give me a call. The Edge Eye Center, of course, is the coolest place in town. It's a little warm outside right now, but we're beautiful inside there. Fully air conditioned, free Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs for the parents, and the children can have a great time skating. We have public skate sessions during the week and also on weekends. And currently Sunday afternoons in July, we have a special $5 family day. Just five me up to five members of your family can skate for only $5, includes admission and skate rental. And of course, birthday parties never get rained out at the Edge Ice Center. I hope you've enjoyed listening to all our staff today talk about the various programs and activities that they enjoy bringing you, our citizens of Owensboro. Please stay tuned every month to Enjoy Life and watch what other new activities we've got coming your way. Get outside, enjoy life with your family and your friends. Thanks for joining and have a great day.